Good morning, folks. We're going to see an article today on pre-earthquake signals, another one on the impact of solar flares to the Earth. But first, we've got several space weather items to cover, and so we'll start there, with the last 24 hours on our star. We had an M6 solar flare from the large southern sunspots. It was impulsive. We have new sunspots growing fast, and we had some peripheral eruptions around the limb, one of which was pretty big and is reigniting the proton storms at Earth. The biggest eruption came off the southwest, where a considerable plasma ejection occurred just behind the limb. It is easily visible in most of the wavelength views from SDO. 304 here shows a significant amount of that plasma, and it is indeed a very good thing that it happened behind the limb, because the coronagraphs are showing it was a pretty solid eruption. Not only is there a dense portion to the CME, but it has considerable speed as well would have produced some solid geomagnetic storms if it was facing Earth. But it did ding our magnetic connection to the sun, so that proton storm that was finally waning back has immediately jumped back up into the low-level storm conditions. The southern sunspot has been our focus for a few days, and while we are still watching it approach the limb, are you watching what's happening to the north of it there? Two new sunspot groups were born and are growing quickly. They are not yet flaring, but that is to be expected in the coming days, and we'll also be watching these plasma filaments. Those pose eruption threats as well, and we'll be monitoring them for that same eruptive activity. Boy, we are really getting that mini-cycle uptick this month, aren't we? We also had two interesting earthquakes, 6.1 blot echo at the low velocity zone in the island south of the mainland Japan area, and we also took another above average rumble in Southern California. The watch we discussed for that region a few days ago has not subsided, nor has the risk. Hopefully, the magnitude does not continue to rise. And speaking of earthquakes, the data from the major earthquake on the Turkey-Syria border a year ago is in, and once again, the total electron content indicated significantly anomalous behaviors before the event. Of all the pre-earthquake signals of the electromagnetic nature, the electrons seem to be the most telling. Well, hopefully they're going to turn that into a prediction model pretty soon. Lastly, folks, a high-level but superb paper on the solar flare impact to the Earth through protons, modulation of the interplanetary magnetic field, and cosmic rays. A lot of this wide array of forcing isn't in climate models or is incomplete in its mechanistic forcing, and that's a pity. Maybe one day. We greatly appreciate your support. We have eyes on the sun. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.